Health Centers are open at Bethel United Methodist Church, Monday, 10 a.m. Uh, to 2 p.m. And that's located at 1309 Ballinger Highway. Uh, they are still up and operational. If you need help, Bethel United Methodist Church, for Water, uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 2, uh, 2 p.m., Ashbury United Methodist Church, 1653 Davidson Road. Also on Thursdays, Greater Holy Temple, 6702 Dort Highway. Thank you, Brother Mayor. Um, good afternoon to the City of Flint. Uh, I'm just very honored to be here, and, and Brother Mayor asked me to come and talk about what the district's plans are in conjunction with the City of Flint to actually make sure that our families and children are safe during this uh, time where we actually have to join and come together as a community. And so they're on our website, www.flintschool.org, under the District Contingency Plan for COVID-19, COVID there are all of these um, links for you as family members and community members to sort of make sure that you are safe and doing what we can do to make sure that our children are learning and are being fed during this time. There are 24 sites that we have actually um, put together across the city of Flint. There are eight on the north zone, there are eight in the middle zone, and there are eight in the southern zone where students and families up to the age of 19 can take part in some, what is the summer feeding program for the USDA. That means there's breakfast and lunch available. We had to, um, we, we've gone to one three hour period a day of 10 to one at those 24 sites, and families can in fact pick up meals during that time for their children who are up to the age 19. They do not have to be Flint Community School students. This is a U.S. Department of Agriculture program, and so yesterday we actually served more than 3,200 meals. Today we're upwards of 4,000 meals that we've served to families and community members in the city of Flint for purposes of making sure that nutritional health is dealt with. Two other things with respect to our families and community. We actually have uh, gone to a skeletal crew at the Flint Community Schools as well. But each of our school buildings has their building later and it's open during this time so that parents can make phone calls and ask for additional assistance if needed. Also during that time, our parents will be receiving wellness check calls from our staff members in the school to make sure that everything's going well with their family, to make sure that our students are actually receiving what they need to do nutritionally, but also the learning packets that are available. Those will be online this week. With respect to the virtual online, those learning packets will be able to be linked to parents during this week. Next week, the physical packets will be available for parents, as well as for our juniors and seniors. We will also be making sure that we can distribute laptops or Chromebooks to those families so that those student children can continue to receive credit towards graduation. While we are in an uncertain time, we are doing everything that we can in partnership with the mayor and the city of Flint to make sure that our families and community members are safe around the educational as well as the nutritional needs of our families. With that said, we have many uh, silos of information, and I know it can be very confusing around this time. But make sure you seek out the best information that you can get uh, to make sure that you can secure yourself and your family and your loved ones. Don't forget to look in on your friends and your neighbors or your family members and make sure you reach out to make sure that they're okay. Our help centers, it's not a municipal activity. These are philanthropic individuals giving of their time and resources. Volunteers are needed to be able to help support these activities. Other dollars are also needed. And so we want to thank all of our partners. We want to thank God for being still present and with us as we work through this crisis. And we can only get through this together by working together and standing together and fighting back together. Make sure you seek out the avenues of best information. All information on the internet is not true or accurate. We must uh, stay connected to the CDCs, listen to our federal partners, as well as our state partners, and look at our website if you have the ability to do so, but also share that good information with your friends and your family to make sure uh, that they get the best information out there. Once again, our help center, Monday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's Bethel United Methodist Church, 1309 Ballinger Highway, if you are in need of a commodity of bottled water. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Ashbury United Methodist Church, 1653 Davidson Road. And Thursday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Greater Holy Temple, 6702 Dort Highway. Bishop Jones and Mother Jones have been doing a fantastic job there. Remember, it's just 
bottled water delivery and some food in these locations. As Dr. Lopez stated, uh, you can get meals for your children uh, at those locations. Go to their website for more information. The phone number to call for the city of Flint is 766-7015. 766-7015. And, and uh, please, please, uh, if you have any questions for the Flint Community Schools, 767-6111. 767-6111, and that's for the Flint Community Schools. We have uh, a desire to continue to have a level of normalcy in our lives. Our children must maintain a level of education, but we have to do so in a different type of way. And so I want to thank all of my partners uh, in this. Thank you for the community schools, Dr. Uh, Reynolds, and all of you for paying attention to what's going on. Stay safe, wash your hands, uh, and pray for one another. God bless you all. Thank you. Will you plan to take questions? Yes, go ahead. Okay. First, can you um, answer one thing? Um, some people watching, could you talk about the public health navigators and um, availability of water filters to the homes? Could you also supply yeah, that? We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to uh, lend it to the professionals. Billy, can you come up here uh, to talk about our health navigators and the numbers to our health navigators uh, in, in our office? Uh, you can reach our health navigators at 410. 2020. 4102020. And this is Billy from my Health Navigators office. Hi, so our Health Navigators are taking calls at 810-410-2020. We are delivering water filters as well as water test kits. Just leave your information with a navigator and someone will deliver a filter or a water test kit to you within 24 hours. Any other questions? Any other questions? Uh, will garbage collection remain the same? Yep, waste collection is remaining the same. Uh, we're trying to keep a level of normalcy inside the city of Flint as best as possible. Uh, uh, running most of our departments remotely, but the essential services are still operating as normal, and we consider garbage collection as an essential uh, service to provide for residents inside the city of Flint. If you have a problem uh, with your garbage pickup, please feel free to call City Hall. Once again, that number is 760 uh, 7015. 766. 766, I'm sorry. 766 7015. 766 7015 uh, for those type of activities. Do you have any idea how many city employees are working from home at this time? We probably have about maybe 60 uh, plus working from at home, uh, providing uh, uh, work from home. Uh, it's not a extended vacation, trust me. They are performing and uh, performing at a level that, that we are making sure that no interruptions are going to happen for city of Florida residents. How do you anticipate if there is a coronavirus diagnosis in Genesee County, how do you uh, expect you know, things to change and for the city to change? Well, right now, uh, we're very blessed to be able to say that we have no confirmed cases inside of Genesee County, and I think that's because of the proactive nature in which we've all taken. Uh, we declared a state of emergency early last week. Uh, the governor uh, also has done it for the state of Michigan. The county then followed. And these are all proactive type of uh, remedies to try to slow the spread of this virus. And so if things uh, got worse in our city, we're going to have to step up our actions. But proactively, this is where we are now. Uh, we're, we're in position to do everything necessary to continue the level of service for residents and a safer delivery mechanism. Um, a resident asked if there's a curfew in place in the city. There, there's no curfew in place inside the city. You know, we don't want government interference uh, on this particular level to be overzealous to the point of uh, that we have to mandate certain things. Uh, we have to be self-governing of ourselves. Everyone has to play a part in the safeguard of our community. And so playing a part means uh, you know, getting out of those spaces uh, where we could be in jeopardy of uh, uh, catching this virus. Any other questions? With that again, God bless you guys, and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lopez. Thank you, Dr. Reynolds. Thank you, Mother Jones, for being here at one of the uh, uh, help stations. And uh, thank all of you for uh, getting the good information. Now, spread the news about the good information. Stay tuned.
pay attention to the CDC.